The Celtics right behind them at six. Thanks to Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum kind of leading that way a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. And what they're doing, they're not necessarily leading with their scoring. I mean, of course, they're going to score. They're just so talented. They're passing the ball. And this is really what the difference has been with the Celtics uh, in their recent winning streak is that they are moving the ball and playmaking for each other. Uh, they recently went into Philadelphia and destroyed the 76ers by 48 points. Afterwards, Doc Rivers, the 76ers head coach, who used to be the Celtics head coach, of course, said this is a different Celtics team than I'm watching. They used to be ISO heavy. Now they're playmaking. They're playing for each other. Makes them a much more difficult team to play against. And, you know, a sneaky trade deadline addition was Derek White uh, going to the Celtics. I know he didn't get a lot of uh, publicity because of all the other big trades that day, but he's a connector. He's a guy who moves the ball, can knock down open threes, and of course gets after on the defensive end. The Celtics are percentage points away from being the number one defense in the NBA now. So if they can keep that up on the defensive end, uh, combined with their new ball movement uh, and, and Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum at scoring at the level that they're capable of scoring, uh, again, this is gonna be another dangerous team in that East that is already absolutely loaded. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.